Uh, so we think we're good enough to put ourselves in a similar position this year. So I think rank is what we want. We know that four or five teams ahead of us we can beat on any given night, but they can also beat us. And uh, top 25 wise, you know, we'll just kind of let our playing on the court speak for ourselves, I guess. How much would you like to play Siena in the first round of the NCAA tournament this year? I'd love to play them at some point. Uh, obviously, I have my brother on the team. That would be really cool. And I've been talking to the coaches, trying to get something set up, but don't know if that'll happen. We'll see what happens. Yeah, what's the, uh, <coughs> how different is your confidence level coming into this year? Obviously, freshman year, kind of every feeling your way into the season. When you had a great year, but I'm sure you're under your belt. You USA basketball, you had this past summer, all that kind of stuff. How is the confidence going into your second year? I think a lot of people are honestly playing with more confidence, and um, you know some of that has something to do with the departure of Melo. Is that a lot of times last year where he was kind of able to pick up for a lot of our slack, and uh, but this year without having him, uh, I think a lot of people know that they have to step up and have increased roles. And so as a player, as a basketball player, I think you want that. So I think you have more confidence in yourself. Are you putting goals in the back of your head going into your second year for you personally? Not really personally. Uh, I want to make it for the NCAA tournament. I think that's kind of everyone's goal. We thought a first round exit last year wasn't fun, and you know, we don't want to do it again. You mentioned Melo. Collectively, you said uh, everybody else is stepping up, filling in for Melo. How much collectively did you guys, when you decided to leave, all kind of kind of take it upon yourselves to kind of like. Someone's got to take control and everybody's got to chip in just a little bit more. Can you guys talk about that? There wasn't one specific moment. I think in a lot of our exit interviews, before we even knew that he was leaving, uh, you know, Coach Turge just kind of told a lot of the people that are coming back is, you know, if you guys want to be better than you were this past year, everyone's going to work hard in the offseason. Everyone's got to you know, pick one or two things that they want to get better at. And so, you know, for a guy like me, you know, obviously getting a lot stronger, making more shots, becoming more just a shooter. Uh, you know, Justin moving down, becoming a guard, Anthony, uh, you know, obviously having things he has to work on and, you know, everyone else. I think everyone already wanted to come in and have more of an increased role and, you know, improve on something from last year. But there wasn't one specific time where we all said we need to do so. Obviously on the court, you know, Melo's loss is a big one, but also off the court as a leader, that that's also a big loss. Is this something that you kind of look to, to uh, fill the void at all? Yeah, uh, you know, Coach Turner said that too. You know, we still may be a young team, but, you know, we have guys that have played a lot of minutes here already. And so he said that, you know, with me, Anthony, Justin coming back, Jared and Checo becoming seniors, uh, you know, he thinks there's guys on our team that are capable of being good leaders, and he definitely wants us to try to step up and be more vocal. And, you know, I think one or two guys will end up separating themselves.